Hello, Ray Waldo here, the Bishop of Technology. Check our website, raywaldo.com, for more information or to ask any questions about what we're doing here today. This is my Acer C7 Chromebook. I got it a couple of weeks ago, and I've done some modifications to it and played with it a little bit. And, and I wanted to put it back into a standard, uh, just stock position, just like it came out of the factory uh, when it came to me. So I built this little uh, Chrome uh, recovery disk. The information's on the website, uh, link to where you can get that, and ran the uh, system and made it uh, uh, clean up everything, restore the boot disk just like it was, and everything is exactly as it is out of the box when you first turn it on, with the exception that I've already uh, turned on my uh, uh, web, my Wi-Fi, and I installed a little uh, USB uh, 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 mouse so that I can use uh, a wireless mouse. I hate the little uh, uh, thumb drive thing, or whatever they call these things. Uh, they're just terrible. Uh, even worse on this device. So I always use a mouse. So anyway, that's where we are. So uh, the process that I'm working through today is to get us to the place where we will have Ubuntu 12.04 installed on this device. Yes, it can be done. And uh, the first thing we've got to do, we've got to train the device to go into something called developer mode. So the first thing we've got to do is to put it in recovery mode. Uh, so you, we're already there. You can just turn it on and uh, the only thing you need to do is get your Wi-Fi working. So sign on to your Wi-Fi. We're there. And at this point, uh, then we will put it into recovery mode. And we do that by pressing the escape and refresh buttons at the same time and then tap the power button. Now the escape button is here. The refresh button is the one with the little circle on it. It's also F3. So we'll hold those two down and press the power button. Okay, and just let go of the power button as soon as it does and hold the other two. I think you're supposed to hold them until there we go. Okay, what we have now, let me move in and let you see what it says. Uh, we have the device in uh, the recovery mode and we could then do some things with recovery, but that's just the first phase. Now we want to go from recovery mode to uh, the uh, developer mode. Now there's no instructions here on the screen to tell you to do this, but what you have to do is hit the Control D at this point. So I'll hit Control D. And at that point it comes up and tells us that uh, we can turn off the US, the OS verification if we want to. Now that's what we want to do, so we'll hit enter and tell it to turn it off and turn off the OS verification. Okay, so uh, it'll come up with a little screen here that warns us some weird stuff and uh, okay and it says the verification is off and press the space button to re-enable. Now don't ever press the space button unless that's exactly what you know you want to do because it'll erase the whole hard drive anything that you have on there now this going into developer mode will actually uh, remove the hard drive uh, clean the hard drive too and uh, so now it's about to boot into uh, those two little beeps telling me that it's about to boot into chrome all we've done is just put it in developer mode you can always run developer mode. The only difference between developer mode and standard mode uh, is, is uh, once it's through with all of this, is that uh, it takes longer to boot. It takes up about a few, a few moments later longer to boot into Chrome if you're in developer mode than it does if you're in standard mode. So. Uh, what we want to do, though, is go into developer mode. Now, so 
it's uh, it's doing some some stuff. Just let it go ahead and run all of its stuff, and uh, uh, it will reboot and do a couple of things and beep beep and another reboot, and then we'll come back to the Chrome, uh, the regular Chrome when uh, desktop. does take a long time. Several things are very lengthy. Altogether this process will take you about an hour. But when you get through, okay, is that it? Okay, OS verification is off. Press space to re-enable. We don't want to do that. Now what we can do is hit the control D and have, tell it to skip on over and start loading the uh, OS, the Chrome OS. Okay, so that's how long it took to just get the first phase of this thing working. Now, once Chrome comes up, we'll sign on to the network. Okay, we've got to select a network here. And we've got to give it a password. And tell it to connect. And then it should, it's doing its little searching thing here and it should lock on. Okay, it's locked on. Now we've got network connection. Now the next thing we want to do is to get into the terminal mode. And as I said, that's control, alt, and the forward arrow. So control, alt, and the forward arrow. And there we go, we get into terminal mode. And at the terminal mode, uh, it tells us we can. Uh, log in and when we have logged in the last time and that kind of thing. Okay, so what we'll do here, we're going to log in as C H R O N O S. C H R O N O S and enter. And that's all we need. There's no password. Uh, at this point, it shows us that the local host and the dollar sign prompt. And so we type sudo, S-U-D-O, and in case you're not uh, up with uh, some of the Linux versions, and this is running Linux, uh, by the way, the Chrome OS is actually a version of Linux, uh, that is sudo, it means uh, super user, uh, I want to be the, the root user, I want to be the owner of this thing. So sudo says that, and then a space, and then the word bash, B-A-S-H. Bash is a, uh, a language that allows us to talk to the device. And so now we have it showing uh, a little bit different prompt down here. It's showing the user prompt at localhost, and at the user prompt, uh, we want to enter the following information. C-H-R-O-M-E, Chrome OS dash firmware update dash M, and then a space, and T-O-D-E-V. Okay, so let me see if I can get over here and type that, and then I'll bring it back to you. All right, so it is C-H-R-O-M-E. OS dash F I R M W A R E U P D A T E and a space and then an M and then a space and then T O 
D E V. Oops, uh, that should be a space dash M. Dash M space T O D E V. Now, what this is doing, and uh, I'll let you see that and copy it if you want it real close. Uh, that is the command, and I'll have it on my website too. That is the command to update the BIOS to allow it to do this full uh, dev mode. Okay, And it gives us a little bit of an error. It says that uh, this, uh, let's see, where is it? I thought it did. I th okay, maybe it's a different place. Okay, so it tells us now that we can boot off of the USB, though. It tells us how to go about doing that with the control U. Okay, so uh, that now tells us that we are uh, in developer mode, and that's really all we wanted to do on this section is get into developer mode. Now, from here, we can hit the control, alt, and back arrow and get back to where we were. Chrome will look just exactly the same. It'll operate just the same, except that now we have developer mode, and when we first turn it on, okay, turn it off, and I'll turn it back on. When we first turn it on, it's going to give us that scary screen that says you can lose the data and, and uh, oh, I didn't turn it off, okay. And uh, says that uh, press the, the uh, space bar to re-enable OS verification. We do not want to do that. Now you can sit here and wait for about 30 seconds and it'll boot up into Chrome or you can hit Control D and it'll go right into Chrome. Okay, okay so now Chrome is loading for us and uh, so that's the, the process of getting us to the developer mode on the C7 by Asus or Acer, I'm sorry. C7 Chromebook by Acer. Okay, next time I'll show you how to install uh, the Ubuntu 12.04. Okay, any questions, any comments, be sure and leave them on my website at raywaldo.com. The full link will be in the description of the this video down below. You'll find a description there. Okay, thanks. Ray Waldo, bye.